Blockly Props Switch Case is one of my favorite commands. You can read about it in the Blockly Prop block reference under Control, and then you scroll down two-thirds away, and you'll encounter Switch Case. This is a really good alternative to If Then Else. It produces code that's far easier to read, easier for others to read, and easier for you to build. To demonstrate this important command, we're going to use a propeller activity board that has a five position switch on it and five LEDs. This is the end result of the project. Push left, LED number two goes on, push up, top LED, bottom, and right, and just push the button down and you'll see different LEDs. How do we do this? Well, you'll wire up the five position switch just like shown in the documentation. Here's your schematics, part number 27801. And then put uh, five LEDs on pins 11 through 15. Okay, before we build the case statement, we're just going to use some terminal blocks um, in our project. By the way, this is project 46817. It's public, so you can download it on your own. Copy it, make it your own, doesn't matter. And we'll download this first just to see that the terminal is working. And when you move the switch around, you'll want to record the different number patterns that you see. This is an active low switch, and zero means that uh, you're actuating in one of the directions. So I made a list of all the buttons that I was pressing and then the bit patterns that went with them um, when I did that just a few minutes ago. So now I would like to um, get a case statement. But before I do that, let's just package this terminal up in its own function and I'll call it terminal display like that and then when we want to use that because we never want to throw away good code we could just drop this in and we should always put a pause in here of say 100 milliseconds so we don't overload the terminal okay so let's build the case statement um, come in here and just drag it in and we have five different conditions we're looking for. So there's three, four, five, and then a default for nothing pressed. Once you've built it, um, press the gear icon again. That's the mutator. And we can then close that, and here we are. So I'll go ahead and build it out now, which will take some time. Here's my finished program. And you'll notice up top, by the way, I've set the directions of pin 0 through 4 to inputs. And those are connected to the switch. And then 11 through 15, those are all outputs. And then based on the binary pattern I see, I am um, turning one of the LEDs on. And if this program just looks too big, you can always uh, do something like this, which would be drop the switch evaluation into its own function and then uh, insert the function into your code and this will be the same thing. There we go. And we'll run it one last time. See that the terminal works. Okay, good. I'm seeing different numbers and then we will switch over to the switch and take a look. Look at that. Isn't that neat?